Hi, it's Hazy, and welcome to my channel. That's what we finish up with today. I'm just going to show you what we've done. Okay, so this is the one we've done today, and people did say they like me showing what, what I'm going to do first, which which was very not very very helpful, and um, that was very useful. Thank you so much. And that's what we've actually done today. That was my prototype as well. And I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do that. Some of that will be on fast, very fast. I'm going to try and get it on the eight eight mode so it'll go because I mean, otherwise the video will be about a million years long we don't want that do we and also um thank you so much if you would give me a thumbs up today that would be amazing that does help other people see my video and if you subscribe to my channel that does help my channel to grow thank you so much i have now put these both on ko-fi uh, as free on the free bit okay so they're not in the shop they're in the they're in the um I don't know, a place. <laughs> I'm just wondering if, uh, I'm just, I'm not sure, but when I printed mine out, they seem to have that gap getting bigger. Yeah, it's because I've cut some tags out of it. But they did have a gap getting bigger and bigger, and I don't understand why. Uh, it might be my printer player not being silly, as it is, as it does. Right then, so, so let's go, and I'll show you how, what we do today, and how to do this, and how to get it balanced, because I'm going to call it a balancey thing. Okay then, so let's go. Right then, okay, so what I'm doing today is, we're going to achieve something like this, hopefully. Okay, I'm using the same colours. Uh, there is green in there, but it doesn't show up too well. Right, <laughs> these are my colours. Watercolours made up from these. Now, the reason I've done that is because I can't find my ink tents watercolour palette. So you know, I've tried to thicken up the green a couple of times, so hopefully it'll show a bit better. Anyway, uh, just using three just three colours. Three colours in my choice. Of, choice. I've also got gold on there as well, actually. Got another one there that I think would never work out. I thought that's not going to work out, but it's actually quite good. So I could, you know, choose to, you could go where you like with those. It's a bit like neurographical art as well, I realised, yeah. So if you're into relaxing as well, that's a very good um, thing to do. Um, I'll show you different patterns you can You can also look up patterns. Apparently, if you type in patterns on the internet, you will get patterns. Now, I've been, I've got this idea not from me. I mean, I love it. That's why I thought, wow, I'm going to do that. <laughs> it's from Michelle Sharp of the Creative Cove. Now, I think she watches, I watch it as well. Uh, Cre is it Creation CC? Um, and I don't know where she's got the idea from that, but I got the idea from Michelle because I loved it. Um, and I thought, how did she do it? Anyway, she explains, and I'll do the same. I'll do the, what, what she does. And um, it's um, obviously going to be totally different. And I'll explain a bit about paper as well. Okay, so as I go along, I'll do the paper because I want to get down some colour because it's got to dry. And I don't know whether to, um, yeah, or I can use one of the ones I've already done because I've got an effect there. And then you'll love the effect. It's with rock salt. And I've never done that. He said, you can do that with watercolour. I thought, oh, I'll put some on. We've got some downstairs. So I'll put some on and it's quite nice. But we, we might not even... I don't know, see it. I'm going to put to use a different brush to what I used yesterday. I'm going to use this great big round brush. It doesn't matter which brush you use, this is proving it. So, because people think, to, oh, this, some people ask me things like, uh, oh, what special paper did you use? Or what um, what special paint did you use? And things like that. And it's not, it's just normal. I mean, these are, I don't know, I wouldn't have paid too much. I don't, I would, I'd refuse to pay too much. But these are, that one's a. Um, Taylor Rowney, that one's a Cotman, that one's a Cotman as well. I wouldn't have paid too much for them, but I would go for some. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, if you've got things like watercolours already, just use what you have. I've made mine up with water because I thought, it's like Michelle had done something with water. I thought, oh, I've not done that before. I just use it straight from the palette usually. But you can actually use it if you've got one of those um, palettes to make it in. No, straight from the... Or you can, ah, yeah, that's another thing I was doing yesterday, spraying. Because I did it with a brush show. I was just spraying and just all you've got to do is get down some colour on the paper and it doesn't really matter what you do. And I thought to myself, this is going to be uh, no good at all. It's going to be, I'm going to hate this. I'm going to really hate this. And I'm not going to be able to use it. And there it is. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can also spray all the paper. I mean, you can wet the paper with a sponge, everything. Right, paper. Okay, I'm using a, a quite a, actually, this is a heavyweight one. It's a, I think I got half price or something at the local art shop because I was selling it off. I don't know yet, and everything comes to the edge, so I was quite excited about all the little bits that were already on the edge from my other pictures. <laughs> I thought, ooh, they look nice. So I thought, well, there's some similar colours to what I'm using, I'm going to use some green now. That might make that some, some sort, somewhat turquoise, uh, turquoise, purple. Uh, that's magenta. I'm just putting some colour on, not thinking about it. It is nice to get the page attached because then it spreads. 
I'm going to just put some colour. I don't know, it seemed to work. Anyway, if I like the other ones better, I'll probably use those. But I'm just going to use this and let it to dry. Um, I might use that rock. I'm down to use that rock salt one. Anyway, uh, the finished one, I'm definitely going to put on Kofi. I'm going to scan it. And then you can cut it up for things like tags, if you like, and things like that. And yeah, all this, yeah. So you just put, it, put your colour on. I was thinking I could also perhaps paint things white if you like as well afterwards or I'm going to possibly use white possibly I don't know I've found I finally found the white look at this I finally find the whites whites I used yesterday um if you notice I've got some circles and things on it like this um that's what I was using with because you know you just use what, what was on the desk I can't remember what it was now it's massive what is it <laughs> I can't see anything but anyway that is definitely a lid that's definitely a lid I don't know what that one is but that one's a lid there. And then I've got um, also different shapes as well. You don't have to use circles. I've got these. Now, I got the idea from these from uh, a lady on the channel. I don't know what her name is. I did, she did say it. Uh, but it's the Mindless mindless Crafting. She uses different things. And she uses... I was watching her make some um, bookmarks and things out of shit. And I thought, oh, that's a good idea. Anyway, what you could do as well is make it really wet. And add some... Well, add it to what I was doing the other day. Add in some slug. Sort of, it sort of like would dry like that as well. It would dry actually like, yeah. So if you want to add some colour and things in between, or oh, things like that, you can do anything like this. Anything you like. I mean, that, bear in mind it might be covered up by doodles. But um, hey, I, can, <laughs> I was doing it the other day. I don't know if you saw the video where I was making little red, looks like red poppy, red poppies and cornflowers in a field. Um, with the water because that's it like, see i'm holding it flat now that's, that's the sort of thing but obviously it's red this is magenta so magenta is one of the primary colors you're using color painting and things again do some more of that there i mean you can hold you can do what you like you don't have this is what high 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 <laughs> i feel like doing so um i'm being posh now hey <laughs> hey if you look doing right and then um you can do anything like this Okay, so anything anything crazy like this will be fine. Just bearing in mind it might be covered up. Anyway, and you can, and if you notice, it, I thought this is not going to work um, on the other one, on this one probably. But I have actually found some little lines where all well, the paint the paint disappears into the other paint, and I thought, oh, I'm not going to get that very well. Anyway, it does ha it does work. All right, you can also mop paint up if you like, and <laughs> if it's too much, or you think it's going to be ages drying or something. But I'm going to try and leave it. I'll come back later. I'm also going to try and when I've done the when I've done the um, Kofi picture, I'm going to also cut that up into tags for you or something. Show you, okay? Because I'm going to do that as well. You know. We're going to do that. So it's um, it's going to be a fun day, and I'm going to try and I don't know if you put something on top of it to hold it down because look, it's bending. You can also stretch paper. I could have actually uh, parted the paper in that, like Michelle did with washi tape. Washi tape apparently works well. Masking tape is no good for it because it pulls the paper up. So I would re recommend washi tape and use a inexpensive one if possible as well. I think I just put this on that. Um, something got a pattern on it. I wonder. Then I could hold it down with a pattern. I don't know. Um, I know me. I'm ruining something. I'm also doing things like that. My dad used to this. I think I've got stuff. My dad, because my dad always used to. Um, we had a DIY project. He would use something, and then <laughs> that was it. That would be that gone, finished. Right? Yeah. My dad was the same. So, but I want to. Oh, it's actually staying. Is it staying? Anyway, look. You can put your fingers on it as well, and you can make things if you like. Finger painting. Yeah. Child. Yeah. Let's be a child. Let's do all this. I don't think. I don't see what's wrong. But anyway, we'll we'll see how that dries, and I might soak that up a minute. Some kitchen towel, or well, whatever you call it, we call it kitchen roll actually. But, um, oh, look, <laughs> I wonder if it would dry like that. And if you could put kitchen towel on top because that's got pattern, I don't know, it might not, it might not um, actually do it. But I know I've done it with um, what's that? Oh, gel press. Oh, look at that, it's actually taken lots too much colour off front. Oh, we've got the excuse now to add some more colour, and I think I'm going to put some green there. Is that green on there, or is it? No, it's orange. I'm going to try and rinse my brush off. Not very often rinse my brush, but I really want to keep these colours separate. Yeah, sometimes when I'm, especially when I'm painting, I get, and I don't do watercolour painting either, so. So we can do all this. It's got spots there underneath where I think the magenta was, so. I still left those. Um, 
Let's put some other colours on there as well. I was going to just stick my brush in my jar of um, paper clips then. So I don't know. I don't think that would have rinsed my brush very well. I would have got my paper, clip, paper clips a nice green, but yeah. No, it right, yeah, so you can bleed your pa paint and everything. I'm going to leave that there, actually. Um, let's, see, let's get a bit of... So you can do all that and it doesn't matter what you do. And then you can do neurographical art or, and then I'll show you... Um, when, I've, when we when we're dry, what what's happening with what? And you can leave white, big white spaces as well. I did manage to do it on this one. But I was thinking if I haven't left any white spaces, I can colour them in. So I could colour a couple of these in that I've left here, especially the non-interesting ones. I've coloured that one in. I'll tell you about what pens to use. Okay, while we're drying a bit, um, Michelle suggested these uh, uni. Well, I think this is uni. I don't know what it is actually. It's a very similar to one if it isn't. It's Japanese, I think, by the looks of the writing. This is a Japanese version of the Uniball. If it isn't the Uniball, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure because it doesn't. But I've just got in a pack of like six, uh, 10, 12 or something. Rollerball pen. So it doesn't say Uniball, but that's the sort of thing it is. RPO3, it says on it. Can we see that? Yeah. Right, so while that's drying, I'm going to have my um, breakfast. And uh, which is going to be porridge as usual, yeah. Porridge, and I've got a banana left, so I'm going to have that. <laughs> and um, yum, yum, yum. I love, I love, I absolutely adore porridge. I'm so glad because it's good for you. <laughs> I have it with water, yeah. I used to have it with milk. Anyway, I'm going now, and I'm going to see you later. Okay. Okay, it's almost dry. Just waiting a few minutes. So while I'm doing that, I'll show you what else I've, what the salt effect did. I have actually done some. Is that the salt one? Oh, I don't think. That's the one I showed you, wasn't it? This is the salt effect one. No one, that's the other one I showed. Yeah, this is what happens when you get salt on it. Let me show you close up. I can't even see this, <laughs> but I think you can. Yeah, so there's things like this. It, I just put some rock salt just because it says you can put it on watercolour and get effects. And I have put blue paint on it as well, so it's not the green turning into blue. Put a little tiny bit of blue paint on. I like the way it's accumulated round the um, paints. And I did actually think, can I actually put pen on there? Because it's rough, but it has actually come off eventually. Yeah, it's rough. It's the um, chunks of salt. I've got a grinder. I, put it through. I did put it through the grinder a bit. Right, and then yeah, sea salt. Sea rock salt. I that's the same thing. I don't know. I've got little bits of thing there. Okay, and then there's that. Did I show you? No, I didn't show you that one, did I? That's the one I didn't show you. No, this is the other one. And then I've actually found out all the little nooks and crannies, basically. I'm... I'm uh, Put some in there as well. That's why we, that's why I'm thinking it looks a bit like neurological art. My son said it looks a bit like um, maps. It does actually. It's like an extended Europe, really. <laughs> I suppose because if you look at the countries, of, if you looked at the countries of maps, you've got um, sort of like edges of countries all like this. Well, that's quite interesting what he said. But yeah, it does, doesn't it? Right, I've got that in the sun. I don't know if it's going to be ready yet. It's going to be. I did actually mop. You can see I mopped that up there. Yeah, you're supposed to wait till it completely dries. This is actually, let me tell you what paper this is. If you haven't seen my other one, it's reduced to clear five pounds. <laughs> That's what I told you. It's, this is um, texture paper. Now, the, it's textured because, let me put you back on to seven so you can see. Right, this is textured paper because it's cold pressed, which is this. And it might say somewhere not, but it doesn't actually. But cold pressed is not pressed. It says not N-O-T and it's not not pressed. <laughs> and I've got some... Um, what hot press which is more expensive but that hasn't got any texture but i think this is fine with textured i mean um michelle said she was using some really thin paper did you see what it said i think it was was it 140 yeah 140 pounds 300 gsm on that and it is uh, a4 size which is 210 millimeters times 297 millimeters 8.3 times 11.7 inches that's what size this is so that's our a4 that's what, exactly our a4 8.3, I thought it was a bit more than that. <laughs> oh no, eight point, I thought it was 8.25. Oh, so it's not eight and a quarter, then, as I thought. So it's a bit, little bit more. Right, and it's a little bit less than the 11 and three quarters. Right, inches. I would say that's enough. <laughs> I could really a bit wet here, but I think it would just make that run a bit, that's all. I mean, Michelle said hers was running. Mine isn't. I could, I could actually draw that as well, though. Michelle said hers was running. Um... I can't find any other different sizes to this, but anyway, I'm going to use them. I'm going to use both two, those two sizes I can find. Yeah, I've got I've got loads of them. So I'm going to do a um, mindless crafting idea. Yeah, so 
this doesn't actually run on this paper. Anyway, you could do things like this. I mean, she's got, it was, I can't remember what she said it was. Um, the lady from Miners Crafting these. Uh, it wasn't the same company as this. Hers are more like round things here. That's about like Sconce Hills. Yeah. <laughs> Sconce is a um, fort. So you've got four corners. So if, you want to know, if you don't know what a Sconce is. All right. Um, yeah, we've got a Sconce around here. It used to be a fort in the English Civil War. Right. Defence, um, defending part of, of Newark. So um, that's the sort of thing we can do a lot. Anything like this, you can put it where you like. I'm going to put one there. You don't have to do this at all. You can just use those lines I showed you. Or you can use circles, which circles work so well, actually. But I'm going to be different and not use circles on the video. OK, you can, I suppose. You can, I don't know whether you can combine them. I would rather not, because I know what I'm like. I get carried away, brain schemes and everything. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put it in a pattern, I think. Although this will not be a, um, a symmetrical pattern at all by any means. I am putting it to the edge. And let's see, I'm going to see how that draws over that slightly wet paper. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, I'm, I'm so impatient. Okay. I'll put one here. Somewhere like that. Okay, and then I'm going to, right, which one? It's the one that's away from it and it's down there, I think. Yeah, so it's basically square on like that. Yeah, so I'm going to try and make it into the, and then I'm going to, because I thought to myself, yeah, I'm not unlike. We don't do it a pattern, I'll probably put it in a, a place that I will, will regret. <laughs> yeah, so I've got my old wear around the house clothes on, so if I ever wear these, <laughs> these are my wear around the house stuff. Right, okay, and now I'm going to make some neographical pops possibly neographical type uh, lines and that okay like this so i'm holding the pen quite lightly and letting it go around these uh, areas and that'll be my little borders and, and michelle said and i think this is quite a good thing if you remember when you was a child and you would draw like paint just draw lines across the page and then color in the sections it's a bit like that but with doodling oh that's no, actually stopped there I can carry, oh yeah, there's another bit there, and I can carry it on down here. So we're not going to gonna do all, not going to gonna, we're not going to gonna do all the, um, if you remember, we're not doing all the, we're leaving things blank. Uh, we could also put gold on, I could do that. There's no reason why I can't put gold on afterwards, because these are waterproof. So you want some sort of waterproof pen, especially if you might realise you might do that. And Michelle did suggest also that um, you could um, perhaps not use your, felt tip uh, type pens. I'm not sure if she means Sharpies or anything like that. I was thinking about using a Sharpie because of the rough paper. It ruins the nibs. I'm not sure what she meant by felt tips, but yeah. I love her accent, by the way. She's from, uh, Ontario. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Ontario, Ontario. <laughs> First met her when we was on the groups. Um, not sure which group it was. It might have been... Um, Oh, I can't remember what they call now. That's it. Junk journaling for everyone, that's it. I think it might have been on there. She was showing people how to draw mushrooms first. And I joined in. And then we were talking about, I don't know if she will remember what was. She said she was teaching um, seniors to um, pay, uh, draw or something, paint. I know she says on the video, she does watercolour. But I says, are you teaching them to draw mushrooms yet? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah, so I'm really, really inspired by this. Anyway, so if I carry on doing that on fast, okay, so I probably did put it on fast while I was thinking of the blooming name of the thing. I'm going to take my cardigan off now. Um, I will um, just let you watch me do it, and then that should be on fast, and hopefully it will. I'm going to do a lot of it on fast for you, so. Yeah, so what I could do is start, perhaps. <laughs> I could do a bit of start, and I could add some more lines when I feel like it. And what I'm doing is choosing which lines to, because um, I can see all sorts of little lines here. And you can add them in when you like. You don't have to 
add them in straight away right patterns look at these patterns like no <laughs> well it's not isn't it it's just i might even put it on the on the title we're doing lines blobs circles and dots basically that's all we're doing so everything on there is a line blob circle or dots so you no need to worry about any drawing skills or anything like that it's just putting it drawing it's just like drawing letters and things into it really it's just a line that's what that is lines really and <laughs> and you put dots for your and things and lines and yeah so it's basically the same it's not much if you can hold a pen then you can do this um so so i'm going to get some ideas from this i'm going to do because i um what michelle was doing is doing some lovely leaves going up i'm not going to do that <laughs> i'm doing my if i do leaves i'm going to do them i do love leaves that's why i've done them um, I would have probably done them anyway if you hadn't know, seen Michelle's because um, she hasn't done these. She's done um, those plants, you know, those um, plants like this and all this. Organic. I've done lots of that on video as well. Yeah, so Michelle does, has got a, um, it's mainly a drawing channel. So if you want to learn to draw things, it's amazing. Uh, do check her out, yes, as well. I'm just, I will link the, her video as well. But anyway, let me, no, no, I'm going to keep that over here so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Otherwise, no me, I'll probably think, what am I doing? There? What can I do? So I'm doing different things. I did get a couple of things from Michelle, like the dot, the massive dots. I thought that was a good idea. But I've done other, other things as well, which is natural to me. Um, I'm going to start here. This is in that. You can also thicken up any lines you like. If you find it's, if you're going over lines, I've done it with, especially with these grid things. I've gone over the lines and I've thickened, I've thickened it up around the. Okay, you can thicken up which lines you like. That's what Michelle was doing as well. She was thickening up some of the lines around the circle. I thought that was a pretty good idea. Right, so I'm going to do, what did I say, that one or that one? One of these two with some, um, I, I touch my circles like this, any size. And then in between I'm going to do black. And this is what I was doing before. I was, I'd watched Michelle's, part of Michelle's video until she got to the doodling part. Then I went off to doodle, start the doodling, and this is what I was doing. And then when I came back, I noticed she was doing a similar thing, but she was, she was making her circles more like a uh, part, like this. But I put, these are my spare spools. But um, that's what I call that doodle. It's a bit like that, a bit further apart. So I'm going to touch my circles, okay. And then I'm going to colour in the, that in the stuff black, okay. Okay, so I've finished this bit that. Right, okay, so let's have a look, see what we might do next. This, I think that um, Michelle had the right idea of making a balance. Now, if I was doing something like this, I would make sure everything was different. But I loved it when she, when she showed you you've got the similar patterns everywhere. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to continue patterns like this one, for example. If you look at this grid one, you can see it there. I've only left a gap between, it's like it's gone underneath there. And come up here and then come out there again and also down here too it's gone up there and it's gone down here as well it's like it's um finding its own way and i like that and i did i thought that's amazing I, I, I can't remember what i did on mine i didn't do it like that and i thought that was the most amazing idea this is why i wanted to do it because i saw so how she had used these patterns obviously i'm going to tell you different slightly different things and also um you know i can show you i haven't used gold in that by having this one you can might see it shining up a bit in the sunlight then if, if you can, I can see it shining up into some light here. I have used gold on her, there and here, and it's all around there. Okay, so anything like, um, I mean, that's one of my, these are some of my own designs. That That is, I've used, I put some extra circles around the edge. Normally it is like this, but touching, which is more like that. But anyway, that, and also little crosses as well, so you can have them anyway up, hopefully. They're not going to be... And then um, I've done this, um, what I call little knot, I always do that down the pages, and leaves and things and zigzags, just zigzags with, with diamonds or squares in the middle. If you look at that way, it's a square. Okay, um, so that's some suggestions there. And oh yeah, just normal lines, lot lines, thicken up lines. What I do is two lines and a thing or three lines or whatever. And same here, two or three lines down there, or even four lines. But I'm counting that as the same pattern. As that, so I did. What I did was, I think, put one of these first. This might have been the first one I did on this page. Oh no, the circles. One, two. I did the circles first. 
can't remember which one. And then I did some lines of lines. You can do lines anywhere. You can do it next to it. You can um, choose another square. You don't have to do it anything next to it. Otherwise, you might find you filling up one area and not the other. So it's about balance. And I think I agree with uh, Michelle. It's this what she showed. What I liked was the idea of balance on the page. I'm not even sure if that's the right same way round as I did it. It might have even been that way. So you can use them which way you like. <laughs> yeah, I haven't put it on Kofi yet, so I'm going to what is put it on Kofi, then I'll probably cut it up or something. I put them both on Kofi. Yeah, free papers, yeah. Don't know if you'll get the gold, but you will get the um patterns and things. And you can see how badly they are done. <laughs> yeah, they're not completely coloured in brilliantly, but that's because they're done by hand, not because done by a machine and it's gone wrong <laughs> right okay so uh yeah so i've got another thing is this pattern here comes over here as well um and i got it i haven't really got it over there probably i forgot all about it by then but i've got two lots of that so that's and that's probably you can imagine it disappearing under there because that is quite full already um so that's one thing that's a few things you can do so don't worry if you haven't got the pattern everywhere it, it will um be absolutely fine i'm sure Right, and so what I'm going to do now, I was thinking about doing this bit in those circles, but it's a bit boring. I'm just doing more circles down here. A bit boring because I want to get on with another p pattern, that's what I'm thinking. Just making them touch if possible. Yeah, if you notice on here, I'm thinking what's going on here, and I'm just sort of thinking up the line to separate the two uh, little things, making sure they're finished. It's nicer finished, don't it, when you get to the edge. So that's the idea. You can colour things in completely black if you like. I'm thinking about this bit here. I'm gonna perhaps colour that in completely black. There's no reason why not. And I'm not using this pen for that. I've actually got some brush pens. I'm just using this. I don't know where, where they are. They're not in my bag, right? So I'm going to just colour perhaps this area in black. To show you that you can do it. Okay, I know some of you might be thinking you could use this to cover up your mistakes, but I would do that very carefully. Would, and what is a mistake anyway? It might not even be a mistake. Just using it to do this edge. I know it's not very good. <laughs> I think it's a bit old. <laughs> I think about it ages. It feels like a home. Uh, all the inks have come down. Yeah, that's, lot, that's true with the puny boss because you do tend to have to really, really um, do that to them. Right, I'm going to do this here. Right, so this other idea is this sort of thing. So you just do a little knot either side, like a bit like a leaf, I suppose, or a vine. And I don't care where it goes. I'm just trying to put it between the others, although that's joined together. Um, you can do it the other side. You don't have to do it um, to a pattern regarding the other one that you've already drawn. Yeah, that is bleeding a bit. And I think Michelle says her pen like this. I mean, this isn't, it isn't na labelled a Uniposca, but it's Uniposca, Uniball, but it's very similar. I think that's the same company, isn't it? Uni, that's a uni. Only the balls in the <laughs> balls inside <laughs> to mix the ink up. So you can do that again somewhere if you like. Perhaps here. Anything like that. So you can see that it's got that between, but it looks like it comes through. I like that. And that was Michelle's. Oh, Michelle did it, and I thought that was amazing. Right. Um, right, let me think. So I'm trying to think of a contrast. And perhaps we can do the grit, the uh, floor there. What do I, what I call the tiled floor. Oh, yeah, and you can do it. You don't have to do it straight. I could have, I thought I, could have, I should have done it across, really. But I've got other ones. What's the other one did I do across? Um, oh, I did these across <laughs> on the other one, but never mind. Okay, so you could repeat that pattern somewhere else. I would put, I would actually put things like if you're doing that, do it, do it the same way round rather than change the direction of it. Um, I'm thinking about doing something. Got to do something in that direction, haven't you? There, really, <laughs> or this direction. Um, 
don't know what. Let's go. Let's do some here. So I've done that that way round and I forgot to leave two spread, but it doesn't matter because you can do, I've done two, one, two, one, basically. <laughs> do anything like that anyway. Um, so I could do that here as well. And do the colour in first if I like as well. So that looks like it's gone underneath there, for example, doesn't it? That's, that's, I love that. That's an amazing idea. Right, we haven't done any spots yet, have we? So we could do spots. Um... Let's think we could do our spots here or here. Um, let's go here. So I'm just going to colour in some dark spots. Yeah, I've not done them very well, have I? Yeah. Okay, wow, yeah. So I've just done, so that's just in that little area here. I suppose another thing you could do is like when you do the neurographical one you could sort of like just make it into straight lines like that around some of them by using not straight lines you know what I mean uh, getting rid of all the awkward corners another thing you could do if I'm perhaps going to leave that one blank because of that right let's go through I'm going to make follow that line there yeah you've only got a little bit there <laughs> right so um we're going to just carry on like that, really. Oh, I've got to do some leaves. Shall we do some leaves? Ooh, yeah. Let's do some leaves somewhere. Um, so I want to, but I do want to carry on with that. So where might I do that? Here. So I might do some, make sure I've got room for these and do these here. I might think about putting some leaves on. Mm. Just up there. So these leaves are just just little eye shapes, and you put a line through, then you go like this, and you choose which way. You don't have to do them all the same way or all um, different ways. If you want, you could do them all the same. You could, can do them all the same way, of course. <laughs> I'm trying to say, uh, but I'm trying to make mine so they all look different. I always think it's difficult to do one at the edge like that because it looks like it's like lines, but. Um, there we go. You have to do leaves or anything like that, of course, you can do it like, but uh, obviously you can even colour in between. But I didn't on the other one, did I? It looked okay. Oh, 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 you could perhaps even do white, if you fancy it. Doing white, um, that's what I was thinking of doing, around that white, um, around the leaves. So you just got the colours of the leaves between, like that. That'd be quite nice, actually. Um, again, I'm going to do some leaves here. If you ever hear a buzzing, I never keep forgetting to mention this, if you ever hear a buzzing <laughs> when I'm, I'm recording, it's because my son's, so it's usually my son, is in the shower. It won't be me in the shower, will it? <laughs> not usually. Not on video. Certainly not on video, yes. Oh, yeah. Perish the thought. So that's a couple of things there. So that looks like, and then you've got that gap. You can do it you like with that. Um, Think about doing other things as well. I think what to do here. Have I ever got any other patterns I haven't done yet? I know there's plain lines. Um, they look quite nice. I, like, I want to do some plain lines here. So just some lines like this. In fact, I could have angled them again, but I forgot. Uh, but plain lines here. I was just thinking, if I did um, zigzag that way, that would... I don't know, would it be wrong? I know, perhaps if I ever did it over here, it wouldn't. You know what I mean? Because that's already at an angle, I'm thinking. Certainly not that way. Right, so I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do them. So zigzag like this and then join it like that. And then you come along and do another one here. It doesn't matter if it doesn't end up accurately together. Mine doesn't half the time. So, But I'm going to do some squares and I'm going to do some stripes on them. So you just have to work out where you're going. I mean, that's fun, isn't it? It's not... Uh...
Right, between each one I'm going to draw a square. So like this, for example. Or oh, if you like, it's a diamond, it's the same. Okay, right then, I'm going to come along now and do some stripes across. I could come along this way and do them as well. So I do. I was thinking I could do those. I could do them even here instead. Um, I'm going to do them without going on, going in one of these squares. I'm going to do them here. Okay, I know that's going to be very, very quite a difficult <coughs> task, but. Yours. Ooh. Right then, so if I haven't decided whether to fill these in yet because you don't know what you're doing over that side. I'm just thinking, oh yeah, and another thing I, um, I want you to know is when you're doing designs like this, don't be afraid to start in the middle of the design. If you noticed, I did. When I was doing these, I didn't start right at the edge sometimes and started the next one in the middle. Just so I could be sure to get it right. Then you can join and you don't have to do it right from one edge or anything like that. So I like the way that's gone. There's different colours there. <laughs> I haven't done any more of that yet, so I might do some more of that. Let's come, start coming over here.
There we go. I don't know if I could put that up there. Perhaps I could do that there then. Because you want something up there, perhaps. And I don't think it needed to be needed, it needed something up there. Hmm, a bit of a wear. Yeah, so this pattern I might do there somewhere. That's on that, that's quite a big one, isn't it? Yes, sir. Right then. Um and we're not, you can if you see any things you can do. I mean I've got quite a big gap there, so I'm gonna gonna continue that line. I can perhaps use that line there and that line there. Okay, um some more here. I could perhaps use that instead. Okay, um so now I've broke them up into smaller countries. That look that actually does look white. I was thinking I haven't got any white, but I have because I've got these. I mean, what I could do is continue this without the camera because it's going to take ages. Um, but I'm going to actually uh, make this sort of like hopefully about eight times as fast as when I'm doing the fast bits. Um, okay. Oh, the grids. I've done the grids for a while. Grid, grid there. Grid here. Let's do a grid here. Okay, I'm not going to have such big spaces as that. I'm going to um, find the lines and just join them into. Yeah, because I think it's. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you've got massive space and then you do a pattern, you think, oh, when is this pattern going to finish? I want to get on with another one. So I'm, I'm doing small spaces everywhere. I like the idea of, that I've um, increased the size of that line. Where's the other one? Where's the. Oh, there it is. I think where's the little one? So I might do that one as well. So, um, right, because that's got lines there, maybe I ought to put some up there. That's the sort of thing as well. If you've got lines somewhere, put some somewhere else. You can do different patterns with these lines. You don't have to do just like that straight. You can do like leave gaps like this. But because that's the same as that, I'm going to fill it in. I'm going to do perhaps some of those as well. They're really cute, aren't they? Really cute. Um, yeah, instead of doing that, I could do them this way. I was looking for somewhere where I could perhaps do that. Perhaps there or here. I might put something else there. Let's do this one. So let's do some lines like that. So that's the sort of thing. So that goes across now. So we can do it somewhere else, perhaps down here. Um, I don't know. So, ah, so you've got one there, one there. It's like finding the patterns and your eyes might go to the other pattern. I don't know, it's sort of like that, isn't it? Okay. Um, right then. I want to continue this pattern. I'm going to do it in there.
There we go, turn that completely upside down. Okay. Uh, see, I'm aware I've got those here. And you'd need some more patterning, a couple of these, at least two of those perhaps. Um, or three, depends if you can do the little ones. <laughs> But I'm going to have a look at this side now, see if we can reflect anything. Oh, yeah, those those uh, spots can come here. So how many patterns have I got? I've got, well, I've got out of me um, spare spools, but I've done, I can actually, perhaps I could do spare spools in here. But I've got the grid, I've got uh, circles, I've got the diamond pattern, I've got the crosses, I've got the leaves, I've got the checker pattern. Um, so you want six or seven, no, you want, that's all you need. Six or seven ideas there, or more, a little bit more, perhaps up to eight. Oh, we've got that as well, haven't we? So that's seven, uh, that's seven at least, isn't it? Um, I wonder if I remember this. It's just about eight then, isn't it? Yeah, so that's all you need. That's all you'll need on, on something like this. Just about eight patterns. So I'm doing this to myself, so I remember to stop the video and talk, and that I'm talking. <laughs> I see that. I might think uh, just to go fast. Okay. Right, so instead of circles, I've done that. That's brilliant, isn't it? Circles, I might do some circles here. That's quite a good idea, isn't it? That's a nice place. Right then, so I've finished it as you can see. Right, so I also added a little tiny bit to this one. I can't remember what I added now. But I did add a little bit to this one. Where was it? I'm not sure what I added. I divided two pieces into two pieces. I've added one piece into two and then I can't and I don't know where I put it now. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, I have scanned and put these on Kofi. Um, I was thinking about showing you what, what uh, tags would look like like this. I think they look amazing. Anyway, I just want to talk a bit about balance because that's what did confuse... I thought, what's she, what does she mean? Because, um, of course, I know what it means. Just <laughs> just didn't register what um, Michelle was saying. So Michelle was talking about balance on her um, on her video. Okay, so I was thinking about balance is um, using things like this, that over here and that over there. That's balance. And the fact I've balanced it even better with using that and also putting these on as well. <laughs> So that could be balance um, in itself, really. But I've also balanced it by using some of this over here and the same over there. And in fact, there's quite a lot of that all over. Various, but I won't put it over this way, but I've put, put quite a lot of that over. I've put lots of that all over. That's what it means. It means putting something somewhere and it also reflects somewhere else. That's my idea. I've also um, using that the same way as that, even though it's completely different places. So I'm, put it all that all that way i've got lines going that way as well so that balances that they're not all going that way they're not all going that way and they're not all coming this way that's another thing um what else can i tell you right so if you want it on kofi that's absolutely fine um i'd love you to 
um, follow me on there. I've got, well, I think I've got, I don't know what says one follower or five following, and I'm following somebody. I don't know. There might be five following me on there. So there's yeah, not many, is it? But, um, you know, because you can get these papers and you can have a look closely at what I've done. Okay, and you can use this for college, 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 <laughs> use this for college, yeah. Use this for collage. I wouldn't use them for college because that's not fair on me. <laughs> <laughs> use them for collage <laughs> and use them for um putting you know sticking on tags or making them so they're thick enough to put to use as tags i don't know if your printer will go that far i'm not sure what mine will do i'm a bit worried about it so i don't try try any more than 160 gsm or 59 pounds I, I think it will do more but a bit worried about it i did try 230 gsm um um photo paper and it didn't seem to like it so i think it might be too much okay um so that's as you can see very different results same colors let me see if i can get it on seven it might might be able to show you a bit better yes two very different um same pa patterns i use the same patterns in both um but you can see it's very different so you know you don't have to copy mine exactly don't worry if it doesn't go like mine or anything like that i mean i was a bit thinking i was thinking oh yeah that's i can do it on that and it would look as good as those i'm really pleased with them I am, um, well, I'm amazed really because I thought, wow, I hope I could produce something like that when I saw Michelle's and I thought, yes. It's just basically lines, circles, blobs and dots. So that's all I've done on there. And it's mainly lines and circles really, isn't it? I've done a few dots on here, for example. Blobs as well, if you like. They're a bit of blobby things, aren't they? The blobs could also be the watercolour going down as well. You can do it. And as you can remember, if you remember me doing this one, I was putting my fingers on it and everything and I was experimented by making the colours spread things like that and obviously if you haven't got um, don't worry if you haven't got the watercolour paper I think that card would be okay I would say um, if you've got some card uh, card stock if you're American okay <laughs> card stock this is how it prints I mean the people say to me your, your printer prints really well and you can see it does doesn't it yeah it's the same just a bit slightly muted that's all and I like it I think it looks really nice muted I think it looks well it looks like it's been done professionally and I've just bought it <laughs> um so let me know about that if you if you uh, do grab this um anybody who'd like to help and thank you so much to anybody who's watching I did get some comments but I'll say I'll say them through my I can say Car Carleen um left me a, a message the other day because remember Carleen's name if I've got that wrong and the, the person who's <laughs> The person whose name it is won't know will they? <laughs> but anyway, if you did if you did get if it was you, Carlin, thank you so much. And if you do watch this, thank you so much. And anybody else too. Um okay, so I don't know whether to just quick I don't want to I don't want to cut them up. Should we cut this? I might cut that up <laughs> I don't want to cut them up. <laughs> but I can actually cut um where's one of my, where's my thing? Oh got this. Where's, my, where's my one I oh my did I take it downstairs? I don't know. I'll just use this. I'll put. I'm doing it again, aren't I? The wrong way round. So what I'll do is just put some, just put a tag or something like that for you. Uh, no, let's have it that way. Sorry about the handle; it gets in your, probably getting your fade. Right. Okay. So I usually do tags about two and a half inches, and by about four or something. And say, so, yeah, that's a point. If you've got like a, if you've got a gap like that, that might come into it. If it, if you don't like the gap, you can always. Fill it in, can't you? Actually, it won't do that, will it? So if you didn't like that, it would... Uh, yeah, look at those. Ooh, let's have a look. I'm, going to, I'm just going to make these into little tags. Um, just, I'm just going to cut them into the shape, I think. And then... Um, I don't know where my scissors are. I did have... I might have had... Oh, I might still be downstairs. Oh, that might be where my thing is. Because what I did was last night, I made a, um, a new sort of like notebook journal. So you can choose which way up you want to be as well. I'm thinking I don't want to cut that bit off there. I'd rather cut that shape off there, wouldn't I? Yeah. It doesn't seem to matter if you've got that gap. I don't know. You can still print it out and use it. I don't know. It's, but I'm hoping you don't have that gap. It's just, it might be just my printer being stupid. But anyway, I like the... Uh, say, I've got the similar sort of thing here. So it's going to be here I'm going to cut. I could actually use that as a guide, but... If I how different it is, oh, it's not that much, just a bit longer. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'll have to move them out of the way, won't I? Otherwise, you'll not see. <laughs> you'll not see how these look. Right, 
bit. I'm excited about that bit there. Look. Right, okay, so there's your, that's what the sort of thing they would look like. And obviously you can round the corners as well, if you like. Um, in fact, let's do that. So anybody who has subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Please give me a thumbs up today. That would be amazing. I'm doing that the small one. Um, thank you so much for that as well. And obviously, you might, as you might gather, I've got stuff on Kofi. These are the latest ones. If you'd like to grab them for free, you can. Um, you can donate. I can tell the difference. <laughs> that one's quite a lot longer than that one. Um, so, um, uh, what was I saying? Uh, yes, I've got things like, obviously, I've got those patterns on Kofi now. I've got other ones as well. I've got a leafy one. I've got all sorts. Uh, I think I've got about nine now. I thought I had nine before, but I seem to have got nine now. So, And I'm hoping they don't disappear like they do on Facebook. It's a bit of a nuisance on Facebook. Right, OK, so I've rounded the corners now. OK, and you can obviously ink them up on the edge. You can also line them line them up with a marker as well, just to, get, just to contain those images as well. Um, yeah. That's like this. You can put a little... Oh, yeah, I've got a line there. It makes it pop a little bit, doesn't it? can't really tell but it does make it pop a bit there we go and i have got it on there okay then i don't like saying bye so i'm gonna say bye thank you so much for watching